right, I am driving. I'm doing a driving vlog. Woohoo! Don't worry, I'm not going to look at the camera unless I'm at a stoplight or something. So, um, this is probably a vlog, a rant, a stream of consciousness video. Think of this as my Christmas present to all of you who keep asking for one of these. It's been, oh gosh, over a year maybe? I don't know. Too long, I know. Anyway, I am off to North Star Mall, for those of you that are familiar with San Antonio, because I am meeting my friend Katie there. She got a part-time job at Macy's, which I've only taken advantage of once, <laughs> um, as far as getting a discount. And um, she gets off work at 1230, and we're going to meet at the Mac store first. I took advantage of some free overnight shipping and ordered, well, more than I thought I ordered. I was only ordering two eyeshadows. I ordered blank type or blanc type because I think that is Mac's answer to Wet n Wild Brulee. We'll see. And then, um, even though I know they have brulee, but it's not, I just, I'm not loving it. So I'm trying blank type. And also I ordered brown script because I'd heard they're discontinuing it and I seen it in a lot of tutorials that I like to copy and I don't own it and I don't really have a good reddish brown like that so what the heck um, unfortunately when my order arrived oh and I also ordered um, the prep and prime highlighter in radiant rose which is amazing I've used it for the first time today um which you can't tell because I have my sunglasses on we'll get to that anyway um, I guess I inadvertently hit two so I got two blank types I don't need two blank types so I'm going to attempt to exchange it at the Mac store. Um, I prefer La Cantera as far as malls go in San Antonio, except that the um, the only other large mall is um, North Star, and they are the only one with a Mac store, and the pro car that I have that anyone can attempt to get by just going online and fill out the application. I'm, I'm not anybody special. Um, anyway, the pro card can only be used in the Mac stores. You can't like walk up to a Mac counter at Nordstrom or Macy's or something. So, I want to get my discount. So I'm going to try and exchange it for, I'm thinking cranberry. I don't own cranberry. It looks like a very pretty shade. There's lots of pretty shades though. That's kind of the problem. Anyway, so we're going to Mac and then um, probably grab some lunch. And I got my email from Sephora yesterday evening after I got home from going to Sephora. <laughs> that I got a $20 off $50 purchase and it has to be used by Monday and that's like throwing away $20. So can't let that happen. So Katie and I are going to go hit Sephora, which is actually, I believe, a bigger Sephora at uh, North Star than it is at La Cantera. Anyway, also when I got to Sephora yesterday, I made it official. I am a VIB Rouge member, which means that I've spent a ridiculous, embarrassing amount of money in the last calendar year or so at Sephora and I got a tiny teeny tiny like that big um, bite lipstick that's exclusive to VIB Rouge people which is it's just a teeny tiny red lipstick it's, it looks pretty um, and I got a pretty shiny red card and I think I don't know maybe access to better samples or something uh, who knows we'll find out it's very exciting um, okay quick I'm at a stoplight so today I tried X Sparkage um, did a naked three tutorial so I tried it it's okay I mean her tutorial is great that's not the problem it's me and I did put naked two in the crease just to add a little more I don't know not pink to my face on my lips I bought this yesterday it's urban decay oh shoot now I'm moving so I can't get it on my purse it's a lipstick I think it's called obsession and um my sunglasses I bought yesterday at TJ Maxx. I went shopping with my friend Erin at Busby Style, and she's a stylist. Hey, you got to go shopping with a stylist. So I needed new sunglasses. I lost my only pair, my Ralph Lauren that I loved, and I turned over the car and the house, and I can't find it, so I don't know. Maybe, it'll, who knows where it went. Um, so anyway, she picked these out for me. These are by, um, I think they're Oscar de la Renta, and then these cute and kind of funky print on the side, and they're rose gold kind of aviators and she said they look good so I bought them and then you can't really tell but I'm loving my hair um, I did hot rollers for a very tiny amount of time I've copied a tutorial that Melf's Melissa put up about using hot rollers to just get some volume I didn't leave it in very long so it didn't curl but at least it's not laying flat on my head so that's cool 
Um, I put up a very controversial tweet slash Facebook post just a few moments ago about that, um, I do not celebrate Christmas, people. Like, I, I don't know why this is a hard concept for so many of you to understand. Um, Christians celebrate Christmas. Jewish people do not. And I don't want to hear the stories of you have a friend who's Jewish who put up a tree. That's their choice. But as a general rule, you know, what's the first syllable in Christmas, guys? That would be Christ. And um, Jewish people don't believe in him. So we, why would we celebrate his birthday? We wouldn't. There's no tree in my house. There are no stockings. My children never believed in Santa. Uh, well, kind of. We just sort of led them to believe in Santa. And if you have children in the room, now would be a good time to have them leave. Um, you know, we, we let them believe in Santa because I didn't want them marching off to school and announcing, you know, the alternative and having someone come burn down our house. Um... So for a while we, you know, but they figured it out pretty quickly. Strangely enough, this is kind of funny. Um, they, they thought that the Easter Bunny and Santa Claus was a ridiculous fallacy, and who could believe that? But they held on to that tooth fairy for a long, long time. <laughs> that made sense to them. Hmm. Anyway, so I, I just, I, I don't mean, I'm not saying this to be rude. Um, I'm, I'm offended. I'm, I think y'all are, you know, not you all personally, but... You know, in this day and age when it is so easy to get information about anything in the world, um, freaking educate yourselves. Like, it just, there's no excuse to be ignorant anymore. All the public schools in Texas, which is not the most progressive state in the world, teach a unit or two on comparative religions. And there's the internet, there's Wikipedia. Like, I don't know why it is such a hard concept, especially for Americans, to understand that not everybody celebrates Christmas. And that's okay. I like Christmas. I enjoy um, the decorations. I love um, the music. I listen to it in the car. We listen to it at home on Pandora. Um, my kids love it. We love the food. I like, Well, not all the food. I like the cookies. I really like the cookies. Really, really like the cookies. Um, you know, I enjoy seeing other people's Christmas trees and I'm happy for them, but it's not my holiday. It's like going, I am liken it to, I'm happy to celebrate a holiday with somebody else that I don't particularly celebrate. It's like going to someone's birthday party. It's not your birthday. Um, you're not getting to blow out the candles and you don't get to take them the presents, but you're happy for your friend or family member and you go to celebrate with them. Well, that's how I feel about Christmas. It's not my holiday, but I, I you know, I still enjoy it. Um, I just don't understand why people, it's not that hard of a concept to understand. However, I do celebrate many other holidays that every other American celebrates, like the 4th of July and Thanksgiving. Really? Pe okay, that's enough. So I'm done with that rant. I just, I don't, I don't get it. We go through this every flipping year. <sighs> so just, I don't know. I just, I don't know. It's really kind of sad. That we'll go out of our way to, to find the, the to learn how to do the perfect winged eyeliner, but we can't learn a little bit about our fellow citizens. It just kills me. Okay. Anyway, on to a different subject. First official, like, cold, cold day in Texas. It's 46 degrees, and everyone is acting like it is the end of the world. Like, it's, they had freezing rain up in Dallas, which is five hours north of me. It's not exactly around the corner. And um, they're telling people to stay home, bring home their work, don't go into work tomorrow. <laughs> I'm just thinking about my family in Chicago, and if it was 46 degrees today, they think that was a pretty awesome day. <laughs> just, just another day, I'd actually be on the warm side. And here in Texas, we are acting like, you know, Armageddon is next. It's just, everything's relative, I guess. But I don't know what 46 degrees is Celsius, but it's just above freezing, a little bit above freezing. So there you go. So, um, I don't know how many of you watch Pixie Boom. Probably everyone. If you don't, you should. Like, there's just, they're amazing. And there's two sisters, Sam and Nick. And, um, I generally prefer Nick's tutorials because she's more of, um, wearable looks and Sam's the artsy one. So they're not, they're more, um, editorial looks, generally speaking. But, you know, anyway, so Nick and I, I 
feel have we don't look anything alike but we have similar lips in that I don't have a top lip which a few people have been kind enough to point out to me in comments like I don't know what I look like thank you though um, and for a long long time I've been considering doing something about that but I'm terrified frankly of the pain like mm, you know needles in my lips I don't know I don't know and I don't want to look like a duck and I don't know I just but then even my husband mentioned like you know I know that you he, he didn't mean it to be mean he just said if you ever if that's something you're interested in I'm totally up for it you know just let me know versus like I don't know some other surgical procedure he'd be against I, I never really asked him it's not his face but um then I saw Nick's video go up a few days ago which was really cute she says it was something like don't tell my mom but I got my lips done which now like 300,000 people have seen so I'm pretty sure her mom knows by now and her lips looked amazing like if she had not said anything I don't think I'm not that observant so I might not have noticed it but I generally just noticed that she looked better than usual I mean I think she's a pretty girl to begin with so it just didn't pop out of me like oh wow she had something done she just looked more beautiful than usual so then I thought, huh. So now I'm kind of thinking, hmm, what do you think? Okay, I know I'm going to start getting the, I know what I, I know what you think. So half of you are going to say, go for it. Um, no, a third of you are going to say, go for it. Half of you are going to say, don't you dare. That's terrible. Don't do that to yourself. And the third of you will say, well, I wouldn't do it, but it's your face. Do what you want. So I still haven't decided. I do have a doctor. Um, yes, I've been doing my research. I have a doctor. I'm not sure that I would go to the guy who, like, dermatologist who did that Botox last year, um, or earlier this year, almost a year ago. See? Uh, I'm not sure about the Botox thing right now, but I'm thinking the lips. But I'm thinking, I don't want, like, I don't want, I just want a lip. Like, I don't want a big pouty lip. I'm not interested in pouty lips. I don't, I wouldn't put anything in my bottom lip. It would just, just be like a topper, just a top off. Because I'm also noticing that um, as I age, my lip line is sort of fading away. Like, I guess that's the best way to explain it. It's kind of, I'm thinking that would help with some of the feathering and I don't know. I don't know. I don't know that it's really an aging thing. Um, it's just I've never had a top lip and it's always been something that I've been, um, you know, irritated with, not happy with. And when I was younger, I don't know that I was aware that there were options out there for me, and then I, as I was aware of the options available to me, I couldn't afford them, and now I'm at a place in my life where that's not so much of an issue, so I don't know. I'm not saying I'm going to run out and do it, I'm just, it's, 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 a seed has been planted, let's just say that. So um, thoughts, any of you that have had it done, I would really love the input, specifics, so forth and so on. Please don't tell me your horror stories. Those I'm fully aware of. Um, so that is that. Also, just got new contacts, and I'm very excited about that because I wear daily contacts, so I wear them once and then chuck them, which is fabulous. Like, I never get eye infections, and um, I don't have to worry about cleaning my contacts or, you know, all that stuff. It's very simple. But my eyes do get dry, and that's not a daily thing. That's just wearing contacts. And, um, you know, by the end of the day, I'm, I feel like I, I people think I'm drunk because I'm slowly blinking my eyes, you know, to, to make them wetter. And anyway, so my uh, eye doctor got me on these new dailies. They're called, oh, crud, what are they called? Total One Total Dailies, something like that. They're amazing. I almost fell asleep in them because I forgot I had them on. Like, there's no way. I usually put them in around 7 o'clock in the morning and... There is no way that I'm not aware of them by like six o'clock at night. Like I am feeling them, my eyes feel gritty. This was 11 o'clock at night and I almost went to bed because I forgot they were on. Because they, I don't even feel them. They're amazing. So um, for those of you that are contact lens wearers, Total One Dailies, I believe they're called. Google that. Um, I think it's Bosch, Bosch, Bosch and Lum. Bosch, Bosch and Lum, whatever. The people that make all things eye related. Anyway, I am approaching them all, and it's a little busy, a little busy, 
approaching the mall, so I am going to focus on um, parking the car and navigating my way through the parking lot, which is frankly much more treacherous than just driving on the highway. So I will see you in a bit, and maybe Katie will finally let me put her face on camera. She's very shy. She's beautiful, strawberry blonde hair, and the bluest eyes I think I've ever seen, and she just, for whatever reason, doesn't want to be on camera, but maybe we'll hear her. I don't know. So, um, wish me luck. Hopefully I park my car with uh, negligible issues. Go ahead, cut in front of me, Prelude. Just go. All right, I'll see you in a bit. Away in my away in the manger, one of my favorites. Anyway, um, and because of copyright and all that, I don't think YouTube will let me post a video with Christmas music or any music blasting in the background. So in case I don't see you, I will catch up with you later in the day. How about that? Okay. Oh, and here, well, I want to do an outfit of the day, so we'll figure something out. I'll see you in a bit. Okay, I'm sitting in the parking lot at the mall, and I've got my phone wedged in the steering wheel. Which would be awesome, except that if I to do when I drive, except that the minute I turn the wheel, everyone's going to go on a roller coaster ride. So I couldn't film in the mall because every store had their music blasting, and some stores don't let you film anyway. The nice people at Max said that I could film in there, but they have very loud music, and I can't have music on YouTube. Anyway, I had a great time with Katie, who refuses to be on the video anyway. Um, I went to Mac. No go. They will not take items ordered online back there. You have to send it back online. So I'm either going to keep it as a backup because it was only six bucks. It's not like a big tragedy or I may give it away or I don't know. So I'm keeping my little blank type. But while I was there, I couldn't leave. So uh, without purchasing something else, I had them to stick it in the old bag. So I picked up cranberry, which I don't have. And um, it's really pretty. It's very, very pretty. And I, I can see myself using that. I'm not liking my hair. So I'm just going to play with it. I want to talk to you about what I'm wearing. Do you like my lips? Speaking of lips, like my hairy lips. Okay, I got this at Forever 21, and I saw it on Cameron, uh, Cam on Blushing Foreigner. I saw it in one of her recent videos, and I loved it on her, and it's super cute. It's a little sweatshirt. I got mine in a small, and it fits fine, but, God, I look like I've got this huge... Um, it's a little short, so I wear like a pink tank top underneath, a t-shirt underneath it, so that when I raise my arms up, the whole world doesn't see my muffin top. Anyway, then I went to Sephora, and the Sephora at North Star is amazing! If you live in San Antonio, the staff there is just, they're on happy juice. Like, they are so happy to be there. They're so happy. Sorry about that. Um, I got a phone call. That was Katie. And then my phone just stopped recording. Anyway, um... So this, like I was saying, the staff at the Sephora, they're just crazy happy. Just the happiest of people. And I want to give a special shout out to Jonathan. He's my guy. Like his whole face just lights up when he sees me. He makes you feel like you're the most special person in the world. He loves what he's doing. And Sonia, I think she's one of the managers there. Hey, Sonia. They're just really, everyone who helped me, I'm sorry I can't remember everybody's names because there was another person who helped me who was, um, awesome they're all awesome like every staff member is just happy anyway so I had a $20 off $50 coupon and can't let that go away so I came in for something specific I came to get the bite double-ended lipsticks that Emily Noel 83 reviewed of course they're sold out they have them online but I want I want immediate gratification so and I wanted I didn't want to use my credit card so anyway I had the Marc Jacobs Lolita palette in my hand Katie was pushing that hard and it's pretty. I'm not saying it's not pretty, but I don't know. I don't know. So I feel like I don't want to review the same exact thing that everyone in the world is reviewing generally. And it seems like everyone's running to get Marc Jacobs stuff. And while it's nice, I don't understand this, this Jaguar that's going to hit me. Hello, Jaguar. Go ahead and hit me. I know you've got good insurance. No? Okay. Um, anyway, so I put it back. And the lovely woman who was helping me, who I'm sorry, she wasn't wearing a name tag, so I don't know your name and I'm sorry, but you were awesome and I hope you love your, she's getting the Naked 3 palette tomorrow and she's so excited. So anyway, she steered me towards this. This is a Smashbox Full Exposure and check this sucker out. Like look at all these beautiful neutral colors. The whole bottom row is um, R, matte. Oh, and it comes with this little mascara. And I'm doing unboxing. Here's the palette. It's about that wide. I don't know where to put them. I'm just going to put that in my lap. 
and you know the usual ginormo mirror and look at these colors though like how do I do this without this is not my at home setup okay so look at all those matte colors on the bottom and those beautiful shimmer shades on the top and this was $49 that's a really good deal there's two, four, six, eight, ten, 14 shades and then the double ended um, Ooh, look, that's like a do. It's black on one side, it's white on the other. I don't know what's up with that. That's cool. Anyway, I find the Smashbox brushes to be very nice and very actually usable as opposed to like Urban Decay's that stink. And then there's a face chart in here and there's people looking at me. Yes, I'm talking to myself. What is your problem? So here, look, you identify your eye shape. Can you see that? And it's probably backwards in here. So identify your eye shape, your best day look, your best night look, your best defined look. And they have almond eyes. I don't think I have, I don't know what shape. I'll have to look at this. Round eyes. I don't think I have round eyes. Upturned eyes. Nope. Downturned eyes. Maybe downturned eyes. Monolid eyes. No. Hooded eyes. So, you know, there's a few options. Oh, and in French as well, if that's what your thing is. So that's cool. I just, I'm excited to try something that I've never seen reviewed before and that not the whole world isn't telling everyone how awesome it is. Not that Marc Jacobs isn't awesome. I just feel like, I don't know. Is it that awesome? Maybe. I don't know. I can't get it back in there. Okay. So I bought that, but that was $49. So I had to get something else. So I got a nail file for $250. This might be the cheapest thing in Sephora. I'm not sure. Then the line was really long, and um, Jonathan actually got a microphone out. Who knew? And he's like, okay, I'm going to yell out some things, and the first person to show me what they have um, wins a prize. So he said, who's got a cute pair of sunglasses? And I whipped out my new sunglasses that I just showed you that were rose gold. And me trying to be helpful, I'm like, look, they're rose gold, just like the new Naked 3 palette that's available tomorrow at 9 a.m. Anyway, I won. He handed me this. I don't even know what this is. So it's like um, vinyl. And you go like that, and then there's a zipper, and there's something in it. Ooh, dude. I have, holy crap, wow. Um, this is Dior Show Ecstasy, Ecstas, who knows, you know, me and my French mascara. Amaze, this is Amaze Balls. There's the land, it's a Lancome, Defis, oh Lord, Defis, De I can't talk today. Definicils, whatever. Lancome mascara. There is a teeny, not so teeny, thing of Shiseido Bio Performance Advanced Super Revitalizing Cream. Wow, this is so cool. Oh, there's a Kors um, eye primer. A little. Holy. Wow. Wow. This is so sweet. <gasps> Sorry. Um, I'm totally into this brand now. A more Pacific. Um, tinted moisturizer in a variety of shades. So that is, and then it's just this cute little, you know, makeup bag thing that would be awesome for my purse. Holy cow. Thanks, Jonathan and the folks at Sephora. That was so cool. But wait, there's more. He handed me something else. Yeah, people are looking at me. Thank God they don't know who I am. Okay. He also gave me this, which to me looks like, like a funky, um, mushy, sunglass case, but that's not what it is. Let's see what's in here. Holy jeez. Wow. This is very generous. Okay. I've got a Makeup Forever Smoky Lash, which I've never tried, and I've always been very interested in this. It's so fun. It's like Christmas. Um, Sephora Foundation Primer. I've tried a lot of Sephora stuff. Wow. It's a giant bottle of something coming. Ooh. Look at the size of this bottle. It's huge. It's Phyto, Phytoho, Phytojuba, Phytohuba. Shampooing, intense hydrating shampoo. Who doesn't need that in the winter? I do. Um, oh, wow. Oh, I wanted to try this. I almost got a sample of this. The Ole Henriksen Truth Cream Advanced Hydration. There's seriously more. And then this cute, oh, Dolce & Gabbana Light Blue. Poor Om. I'll give this to Mr. Gold Girl. Make him wear it. Actually, maybe I'll give it to my older son. Smashbox Full Exposure Mascara, which I'm pretty sure I have in there. That's it. I say that's it, but that's a lot. Wow. I got two bags of goodies. 
Thank you. Thank you, Sephora people. Thank you, Jonathan. Yay. Yay for giant handbags with lots of stuff in it. Okay. And then for being, I don't know if it's because I'm VIB Rouge. I really don't know why they gave me this, but as I was checking out, oh, it's because I'm VIB Rouge because it says VIB Rouge. I got this cool mirror. What time is it? Okay. I have to go kind of soon and pick up a kid because God forbid they could walk home when it's 47 degrees outside. It's like asking them to walk through Siberia. So it's this lovely ooh, double mirror. Like a magnifying, wow. Very much magnifying. I have glitter on my face. How does that happen? I didn't even touch. Yes, I did. And then a regular glitter. And there's a little note. Cher membre VIB Rouge. Nouveau. Okay, no. Um, Dear VIB Rouge, thank you for being one of our best clients. Beauty addiction looks good on you. Yeah, they need a 12-step program. Happy holidays, Sephora Beauty Insider Team. That was very nice. And then I finally cashed in some points. And I got the Clarins. Come here. There we go. Beauty Flash Balm. I've been hearing about this forever. Never tried it. So I'm very excited. That is all my stuff. I'd like to say I'm done shopping. Um, probably not. But... I, yeah, I am. I am. I'm done. So that's all my stuff. And, um, and just, you know, here's your outfit of the day. Hair that's completely fallen. <laughs> like, I, it doesn't even look like hot rollers have touched my head. Shirt. Here's the shirt from Forever 21. Jacket. Faux leather jacket from Target. And, oh, this is cool. Okay, so I got... For Hanukkah, my husband got me a shellac at home thing from Sally's, which I've only used once, so don't judge me. It's kind of a crap job. Like, you can tell especially on, like, this nail. When they say go just to the edge, they're not kidding. So I shellacked my nails with, like, a very clear, almost clear shellac just because I want my nails to be stronger. Then over that, I have, I can't remember the name of it. It's one of the new Formula X's. It's the, new, the lightest nude cream shade. I can't remember what it's called. And then over that is the one of the new Sally Hansen like glitter specky top coat thingies. What else is going on? Urban Decay lipstick. Don't look at me, people. Look, Urban Decay lipstick in the bottom of my purse. Nope. Wait. Hold on. And how cool is this packaging? This was yesterday's purchase. Um, here's the packaging. And it's an Obsessed. Perfect, right? I mean, very creamy, very hydrating, pretty good staying power, nice frizzy hair. And I have on just black pants from Target and these pretty cool black boots that you can't see. I think I got those at Aldo. Um, I forgot to wear earrings and gosh, my hair is kind of a wreck. Anyway, that's it. So um, I'm going to buckle up. Always buckle up. And um, while we're on the subject of buckling up, one last pet peeve and then I'm cutting off. What is it with the reality people? Like all the, you watch, like I watch Real Housewives of many cities and they always drive around like this so that they look cute. How cute is it going to look when you're smashed all over the side of your car? Not so cute. So I just, I don't even know why that's allowed for them to film like that and not wear their seatbelts. That's just wrong. Wear your seatbelt. This is cute. This is the go-to fashion accessory for driving. I'm just saying. All right, that's it. Um, this vlog is babbling and long and horrible, but some of you really like it. So thanks for coming along for the ride. I'm going to click off and uh, I'll see you in the next video. Thanks for watching. Bye-bye.